Hey everybody, Jay Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars in Seattle. I figured I'd bring out a very interesting guitar today, a piece of Fender history. What I have in this case is a 1950 Fender Broadcaster. So this is one of the 200 plus broadcasters made in 1950 and this one has quite a story with it. I got this from a, a local gentleman who uh, played in the Seattle area and in LA, playing with Lonnie Mack. He did a five year stint with him and then he came up to Seattle and played with Merrily Rush and the Turnabouts, Epicenter, Little Bill and the Blue Notes. So this guy has a great history of recording and performing with some top notch artists. So I got a, a few guitars from this gentleman a few months back and this was one of them. And this was a guitar that he pretty much had dialed in for his personal taste. And one significant thing he did, he had the neck slimmed down because he didn't like that real fat original broadcaster neck on there. It's not a super thin neck, but it certainly doesn't have that original broadcaster profile that we're used to. He also had the guitar refretted, and at that time he had the fretboard plane to a 9.5 inch radius. This guitar is your typical heavyweight that we see in a lot of broadcasters. This one comes in right around nine pounds. So a big heavy piece of ash here, but what a guitar, man. This thing plays and sounds great. You're gonna hear Nick Martin play it a little bit later. And he had a lot of fun with this guitar through this little Fender amp here. So kind of going through the guitar, other than the obvious changes he had done to the neck to personalize it for himself, I mentioned the refret, the neck's been refinished, as has the body. If you look here, the tuners have been changed out. At one time, the holes were reamed, so they've been returned to the similar style of tuners, but not the original ones on there. You flip this guy over, both pickups have been changed on this. Now, this bridge pickup is a vintage pickup. It certainly appears to be from the 50s. The saddles have been changed on this guy. You look at this pick guard, it's very interesting. It is the original pick guard, as you can see, all the little holes around this pit guard outlining the shape of it. Kind of cool, but uh, yeah, different. But it is the original pit guard. So the nuts also been replaced. The electronics in terms of the pots and so forth uh, were changed. These are 1981 pots. So he went through and uh, updated all the electronics because he was playing this thing on a regular basis and he just wanted it to not fail on him. It's got an 11 3 50 neck date on it. Comes with a case that is far from being original, but that's what we got it in. So that's what comes with this guitar. Obviously the serial number there on the original bridge, and this is 0049, so very early serial number there on this guy. Like I mentioned before, today we're gonna have Nick Martin play this broadcaster through this beautiful 1963 Brown Princeton amp, 10 inch Oxford speaker in there. Sounds great with this amp. He's also gonna be running it through this 1961 Brown Fender Reverb unit, which is a great matchup with this amp. That's what you would use with this amp back in the day if you wanted reverb, because they did not put reverb inside of the amps until the original Brown Vibroverb, I think in about 1963. So great little setup there. An early Brown Reverb unit through an early Brown Princeton amplifier with a 1950 Broadcaster. So without further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to Nick Martin.
So there you have it, folks, my pick of the day, a 1950 Fender Broadcaster with a bunch of changes done to it through an original 1963 Brown Princeton amp and a 1961 Brown Fender Reverb unit. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked our video, hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.